I really appreciate your uh, your comments um, on you know on some of my exercises or or just my daily activity exercises or my daily activity things I do you know running around. Um, anyway, what I did here was I got two problems that are that I'm dealing with um, whenever I'm doing rows. Um, I want to do, like I said, I want to do rows because it will work on my uh, my my wings uh, a little bit, and or my my um, my lat muscles uh, and some of my back muscles, because a lot of wheelchair dudes uh, don't have very uh, strong back um, unless their injury is very low or uh, the spinal cord injury is is good uh, is preferable. Uh, for them in, in one way or another. Um, but anyway, what I did here was I, um, you can see there, uh, I will, I'll demonstrate, um, I'll lay down on that bench, and then you can see I uh, uh, put a pillow uh, in the weight, uh, underneath the weight, so that, um, it would stop the weight from hitting my head. So the uh, <clears throat> the pillow, having the pillows behind me, <clears throat> and the extra stuff to stop the weight from dropping down on my head is twofold, because it not only stops the weight from landing on my head uh, when I, if the uh, machine actually accidentally breaks, when the, the pulley system actually accidentally breaks whenever I'm doing ex doing my reps, <clears throat> but it also uh, lowers the weight, uh, the barbell, a little bit so I can reach it with my hand, um, and that's pretty cool. What I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to have the, uh, the couple pillows um, behind, the, behind the machine right here. See the pillows? I don't know if you can because it's so dark. You see, whenever I'm pulling the weight down, it doesn't land on my head. It doesn't come anywhere near the contact of my head, and so I'm really happy about that. So whenever I'm doing the pulling the weight down, then the handles are are rigid, and so so after a few reps, then they get uh, quite uncomfortable and, and uh, start to uh, be real hard on the hands and numbing on the hands. So if you put uh, um, a, um, uh, a sponge on them or something like that, some kind of cushion for your hands, then for your, for your palms, then it won't be so crazy, it won't hurt so bad uh, after quite a few reps. Because I ended up doing uh, probably a hundred reps or something like that, you know, uh, in the end, eventually. Another problem that I'm dealing with uh, is the um, attachment of the barbell uh, to the um, to the pulley machine, to the weight machine. Um, I'll show you a closer up um, <coughs> view of that in a second. Uh, see it it's uh there you go I got some tape on there you know and I uh, I picked up the carbiner uh, um, a couple carbiner um, uh, hooks and then that's hooked into what I have next is I have a couple um, bailing, uh, I have some bailing wire wrapped around the barbell. Um, I don't know, I got like, I got it wrapped around there probably uh, 10 times or something like that. Here's some of that bailing wire that I have wrapped around the barbell. <coughs> this is what it looks like. And then I have the car banger um, uh, hook hook through that um, hook, hook through that connection in between the 
barbell and the um, and the uh, and the hook and and anyway after after quite a few repetitions then that um, bailing wire gets pretty pretty uh, exhausted and it starts to weaken quite a bit and it it starts to uh, it can break and I'll 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 put in the description of this video um, when I had a uh, failure of that um, bailing wire and the weights almost crashed down on my head and but but they didn't um, but I think that what what I'm going to do is like I said I'm going to have the uh, the couple pillows um, behind the behind the machine right here see the pillows I don't know put the I pull the barbell down quite a bit and you see right here where my hands are it gets pretty bad on the um, pretty, pretty hard on the hands after quite a few repetitions it starts to get kind of numbing on the hands and it starts to hurt them quite a bit but this is where I go to about right here and you see my elbows my elbows don't go down more than 90 degrees I try not to get them to go down more than 90 degrees if I I don't take it all the way down here to my chest. It puts too much pressure on the elbows, so I put them about right here, and then I do. That's when I do a hold, and then I let it go, and then I go to about right here, and then I pull it down like that. So that's how I. <laughs>